So here I'm going to show you how to splice two ends of rope together. Now this is the strongest way of joining two ends of rope. And uh, I'm going to be doing it with three, three strand rope. Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure if it can be done with braided, ro braided rope. I'm, I'm pretty sure it can be, but I'm not sure because I've never had any interest in doing that. Because it's not really, it's sort of splicing, but if you're splicing like uh, yeah, braided rope, it's more like kind of weaving a core in and out of the kind of outer outer case of the rope. So, anyways, uh, but it's it, this this is pretty cool splicing three strand rope together because it's easy, it looks nice, and it's insanely strong. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's get started. I'll just show you what we need. We'll need some. Uh, let's see. We'll need a knife or scissors, a lighter, some electrical tape or tape, other tape. I'm, you, only need, you only need one color, I'm just going to be using multiple colors so it's easier for you to, uh, to see what I'm doing. You'll need some uh, thread or some string. I'm just, I'm just using embroidery thread just because uh, it's pretty easy to, uh, to break in half like that and that's what we want because basically we're just going to be using it to hold our rope together temporarily. It's not actually going to pr provide any kind of structural uh, support so it's perfect for what I'm using it for. And then you also need a FID, uh, F-I-D is kind of what it's, how it's spelled. Uh, you can buy these online for like 10 to 40 dollars or so or you can make your own. Mm, basically I made this one out of a steak as you can see all I've done is chopped off the little T at the top here with my uh, with my razor knife, and then I also chopped off one of these kind of flat panels along here, so I'm left with an L shape like that. And then I also chopped that off and wrapped some duct tape around it to finish it off nicely. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want to make this too long, so uh, let's get started. the uh, The first thing we'll do, just clear some of this stuff out of the way here, is we'll just prepare the ends of the rope so that they're, uh, they won't come un unfrayed when we're uh, splicing. So you can just unwrap them a few inches down like that. Take some of your tape, I'll just use red for now, and uh, chop off about an inch long chunk like that. And just, as best you can, wrap it around the end. It's actually a lot harder than it looks because the rope wants to come undone as you're wrapping it. So, yeah, I'll have to see how good of a job I can do right here. Hey, that's pretty good. Just like that. The other thing you can do if you're having a hard time wrapping it, you don't need to do this, but you can just take a lighter and kind of burn the end like that. And you could just use it like that. Or then after that, you could take some tape. I'm just going to use the green tape for this because I want all the strands to be different colors or each strand on each rope a different color. And then just wrap your tape around like that, and you should find it quite a bit easier. Just like that. So, anyways, that one didn't I didn't wrap that super super well. But anyways, I'll wrap the blue stuff around here, and then do the exact same with this uh, rope here, and I'll be back when I'm done that. So I'm back here, and uh, as you can see, I wrapped the ends of these strands in different colors of electrical tape. And then he, over here what I've done is I've basically taken some of our string or some thread or whatever and just wrapped, a, wrapped it around uh, the base here about six inches down and then just unraveled my strands so that basically they can only unravel down to the string. I'll do the same thing over here, just count about six inches down or so. It doesn't have to be exact at all. Somewhere within uh, like five to seven inches and then just wrap your string around like that just using like a square knot and then cut it like that and then you can just see that it'll kind of slide down too don't want it to be too too loose there we go so that's pretty good. So now we have our two strands like that. Now what you want to do is you can just take them. It's not very good here because these strands want to kind of bend in inwards, but we'll try and just work around that. You can take them 
take you to uh, ropes like this. Basically you just want to push them into each other so that you have so that they're alternating uh, like one strand from one strand from this rope, one strand from this rope, one strand from this rope and so for instance here you have green from this rope, blue from this rope, next red from this rope, green from this rope, blue from this rope, red from this rope. Yeah, you just want them kind of interlocking like that. And then now what you'll do is you'll take your fid, where'd I put that thing? Oh, there it is. And uh, and so basically we'll just choose a, a strand to start with. I'll just start with this green one. Doesn't matter which one you start with. And you just want to go over under. So I'll zoom you in even farther here. Oh. Uh, that's good. And we'll take this green strand. And basically what, what you want to do here is you want to just go so as you can see it comes through these two. We'll bring it over top this one and underneath this one. So just take your fid and this is very tight rope. A lot of rope is a lot easier than this. And just take our green strand. Lost it now. Oh, here it is. It's hiding under there. And just shove it through there like that. And just pull it through. And trust me, when you're starting off, like to the average person, this looks like just a whole jumble of, uh, of strands of rope here. But once you get the hang of it, it'll start to make sense. And you can just pull that one tight, pull it through. Again, uh, yeah, these ones are kind of bent around, so they're a lot harder to work with. Now what we'll do is we'll just rotate it like that. Do the same thing with this. Uh, so the next strand, the blue strand from this side again, same as the green one, except it's blue this time. And as you can see, it comes through these two strands. So we're just going to bring this blue strand here over the first one. So basically, we hit this one first. So we're going to go over that one underneath here. Hopefully, that makes sense. Uh, you can watch the video again if you're having trouble with it. Stick it through there and just pull it tight like that. Flip it over, do the same thing with the red strand from this side. As you can see, it comes in between these two. So it would go over this one first, so over, and then let's see, under this one. Just want to tuck it under that one. This shouldn't be that hard because this one's already kind of sticking up there. Shove it under there, take the red strand and just stick it through like so. Kind of twist and pull tight. Just keeps it nice and uh, even, even and kind of good, looking good. So uh, that's basically we've done the. If you can do that, you can do you can uh, splice rope because that's all there is to it. I'll just show you with this side quickly. This strand here comes in between these two, so it'll go over here, under here. Yeah, this one's really tight. Oh, sorry if my hand got in the way there. Uh, just take it and shove it through there. And twist and pull at the same time. So it's nice and tight like that. Now rotate. Now our red strand comes in between those two. So we're going to bring it over there, under there. The other thing you can also go by is you see our blue strand here went under this one, so our red one is just kind of, it's over to this side of the blue strand, so it'll just, instead of going under this one, it'll just go over under that one. Anyways, it doesn't matter which way you do it. I don't even have to do that, because I can just look and see. I know it goes under that one. Anyways, yeah, hopefully we'll get the hang of it. I'll just pull that under, twist it tight, take the green one, and over under. Shove it under there. Okay, so now we've shoved in total eight strands under. So as you can see, this will hold together pretty well. It won't hold together well enough, not by the long run. This actually isn't that, it won't hold together that strong if you pull on it as hard as you could, you could probably rip it apart. So basically what we wanna do now, because we don't want this, uh, this thread to kind of 
to stay there because it actually it won't let the uh, splice kind of take full advantage of itself because it's holding it's holding these strands uh, tightly together. So you can just reach in there with scissors, just kind of chop it up best you can, and then just work on pulling it out. There we go. Look. Oh man, come on. There we go. So I've got that one out. Just do the same with this one. Let me just check my time here. Okay, I better speed up because I don't want this video to go over 10 minutes. Because then it'll have to be a two part video. Uh, anyways, okay. So that looks. Come on. That looks pretty good. Uh, oh man. There we go. Anyways, now uh, I'm just going to snug this all up and come back when I'm done snugging it up. I can just kind of start you off on uh, finishing it off. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now that that's uh, snugged up, I'll just uh, yeah kind of show you how to uh, start off and finishing this. Pretty much, you just do what you've done here. Uh, there's nothing complicated about it. Blue one, as you can guess, just goes kind of, it went under this one, just bring it over and under. Basically over, under, all the way along. So, just under that one, shove our blue one through. And some of this rope, like nylon rope, you might not even need to use a fid because nylon rope comes apart pretty easily. The green one here, under, over, under. It's as easy as that. Red one, under, over, under. Oh. Sometimes you'll pick up strands that you don't want. If you notice those, like I just did, caught another one. You just want to uh, want to pull your fit out and try and get it under the uh, only under the strands you want. Because if you end up picking up strands from another piece of rope, it can uh, totally kind of screw up your splice. It'll weaken it a little bit. Probably probably not enough for you to ever notice, but it's just best to. Uh, Oh, to pull it out and uh, try again. So, basically we've done, just gone over and under with these three, do the same thing with those, and then just repeat that process two or three more times or until you run out of rope. The more the better. So I'll come back when I've uh, done that and you can see how it looks. And then I'll uh, just show you quickly how to finish it off. There we go. So, uh, that looks pretty nice. Uh, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, you might find that it's a little uh, kind of wavy in some parts, like it might kind of wave back and forth. You can just kind of tighten it up and kind of move it around like that just to loosen stuff up and even it out. Or you could just kind of roll it like that. Sometimes I find that helps to uh, get it nice and even all over. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it to finish the ends off. Uh, you can just chop about, uh, maybe so that there's about a quarter inch of rope left. And just do that with all three of them. And the last one here. And then take a lighter and just Run the ends like that. I'm just gonna turn the flame up a little. That's better. Just burn it like that. I'm gonna take something metal and just press it against it like that to cool it off instantly. And uh, that seems to work pretty well. Just do that with all three. Just like that. So you can just do that with the other side if you want to. Uh, I don't see why you do it with one side and not the other side. 
And then if you want to, you can take some uh, electrical tape and just cut off a chunk and wrap it around the end like that. Anyways, you might want to use a little more than that, but it just gives you an idea of how you can finish off the end. And uh, yeah, so anyways, the weakest part of this splice is uh, this part right here, with the single strand joins this kind of woven bit. Uh, this woven bit's actually stronger than the single strand, so uh, this is just, just the part you want to watch out for. Uh, if any part's going to break, it's going to be this part here. But uh, splicing rope only weakens the rope by approximately 20%, so it should be pretty good. So yeah, I hope you've learned something from this video, and be sure to check out my uh, uh, how to sp my other video on how to splice a loop into the end of a rope. That's a pretty good video, and uh, yeah, so I hope you've learned something from this video. So yeah, thanks for watching.